So you set up your site, you've picked your initial design. Now what you'd like to do is click to the Pages tab. And what this will do is it'll show you all of the pages that you already have. Um, in order to add a page, you look here on the left-hand side very easily. You can click Add Page. You can title that. Um, I'm going to call it New Page Number One. You choose the page layout, so depending upon how the image that it comes as the banner with your theme, whether you want a large version of it, a small version of it, no image, um, or if you want to use this sort of uh, home type page, uh, which might work for different sections of the website, you can do that. I'm going to choose uh, this first one just to show you something different. Um, you can also then look below, and if this new page needs to be a link to an external site, say you wanted someone to be able to click and go directly to your LinkedIn page, you would do that, and then it allows you to enter a URL. Um, if you're just adding one for content, you don't need to click that. Um, and after that, the next thing to do is to decide where you want this in terms of your navigation, if you want it to be a main page or whether you want it to be a nested page. So I'm actually going to add a new page, um, and I'm going to call this a nested page, just so you can see. A nested page would be something that's sort of a subcategory. So if I wanted to add a nested page underneath of my new page, I would um, just sort of grab these little dots here and pull it over to the right. If you wanted to add a nested page perhaps that was hidden, something that wouldn't uh, show up in a, a drop-down, I'm going to call this one hidden page for you, uh, you would hit the hide page in the navigation menu here on the side. If you ever needed to duplicate a page, uh, you can hit copy page and it'll make uh, home number two. Or uh, if you wanted to go in and delete a page, you can do that as well. Make sure you're finished, you hit save. And what this is going to do is going to take me back to the main page. Notice uh, section one was already created. We created new page number one. We created that nested page, which as you see, auto, um, at, you know, sort of auto navigates in here. And then home two is a duplicate of the original. Now that hidden page, if you notice, um, is it's listed. Uh, however, it's not showing up in the navigation. So that's what you would do if there was a page that you wanted to include, but you didn't necessarily want it to auto-populate um, in, the, in the navigation bar, either on the top or the side. Um, and then you can link directly to that, which I'll show you in another video about how to uh, utilize links within Weebly.